<laughs> it's on time. You did it. I did it. You showed up. On time. Only because you took the day off. So now you can <laughs> come early. Not early on time. Early on time. Early on time. All right. Well, happy Friday, everyone. It's Friday already. Again. As Matt says, it's always Friday. I feel like it is. Yeah. It's like constantly Friday. <laughs> yeah. And like, here we are again. Yep. Back at another yeah. Friday. Although we weren't here last Friday. We were not. It was Easter. Your parents were in town. We haven't seen Matt's parents for a long time, so it was nice they were able to come in. I went to the house. Mm -hmm. I was hanging sheetrock is what I was doing. Yeah. At this time last week. Yeah, you and your dad were actually working like really hard. So. And I'm still not done. No. Florida. A lot of Florida. Two Floridas. Mm -hmm. Oh, pretty, this is super nice. This is why I get out of bed on Friday. Name. <laughs> Swedish nuts. Yeah, I'm not into that. <laughs> I'm into that. And Denmark. Why is I love it. not working today? I don't know. It just doesn't want The foil yet. cutter's like, I ain't cutting this. No. <laughs> there we go. Ooh, you did it. Ta-da! Mm -hmm. Happy whatever day it is today, Friday again. My brain's just like a mush. <laughs> Today's been weird. Ball. It's been really rainy the last like four days here. And I think it makes everyone kind of just get a little like melancholy. Well, this is my first day that I'm not like by myself working on our house. That's true. Mm -hmm. I have been, I have been there for seven days straight. Yeah. Seven it's, straight days. It's been a lot. I haven't done anything. Well, I mean, you've done a lot. Work related. Just not where you wanted to do stuff. Oh, wow. I got zero actual work done. Mm -hmm. Like job work. Yeah. Milwaukee, Wisconsin. That's where my mom is from. Fort Worth. I actually, my cousins live in Fort Worth. So. You have like a story for every city now? Well, I've actually, have you been to Thunder Bay? Nope. Okay. I was like, you might have a story from that one. Sault Ste. Marie. Close as I've made it. That's close, right? Or mm -hmm. I guess Duluth now, and they're on this side of the lake. Utah. I took the uh, both boys to Utah with me once. That was a long time ago. That was a long time for work, yeah. Like a long time ago. Yeah. Alabama. All right. So what's new? Places I've never been. Um, nothing. I have been trying to get a house ready to go on the market. That's literally <laughs> my entire life. Yes. Like. It's a lot. It's insane. It's weird because I don't know. You don't know? You don't I like, mean like. I don't understand why it takes so long. No. I mean. It felt like we didn't have like that much to do. And yet. Oh. Every time you do. Like I go there. I'm like, okay, I'll just do these things. And somehow I'm like, how has it been a couple hours? That's how it works. You're like, oh, I can get I can yeah. get this knocked out pretty quickly. Yeah. And then the day's over. Yeah. And you're still there. Yeah. So like I bought a railing a week ago. I still haven't put it up yet. Yeah. Yeah. It's all little things. It is. Like I was there yesterday. I took the last two days off. Um, first we took Thursday off because we had a meeting with our architect, which we can talk about later. And then I wanted to today spend the day at the house, kind of do stuff. And so we just went yesterday and did it. And I was in the boys and Ellie's old bedroom and just kind of like cleaning the floors because like we had a cleaner come, but I don't know their level of clean versus mine. Like I, they put like little stickers in random places on the floor. And so I scrubbed to get them off, which it just takes time. Right. And so I'm like, okay, I feel like I got a lot done. And I'm like, oh my gosh, it's been like a couple hours and I've only done like three of the rooms doing that. And so yesterday the big thing we did was move the high boy and the secretary desk. Yeah. So we got those, they're in a truck and in the driveway still. Are you going to brag about me? You picked them up. <laughs> Lindsay's been doing this workout thing yep. for like, I don't know how long. It's been January. Like, January 4th. That's it, really? January 4th. This I feel like it's I been it. a lot longer than yeah, that. Yeah, January 4th. I bought it on January 4th. I took all my pictures on January 4th. Yeah. Anyway, she's like, it's like, you know, strength training-ish stuff she's like quite a bit stronger than she used to be <laughs> she used to like not be able to like even think about moving those things and, it was and you had like almost no problem yeah like you still have like a few moments like towards the end of the of the lift you're like okay i gotta put this down soon because oh, it's getting heavy yeah but getting it up in the air right. and like getting out the door you're fine you seem fine yeah it was fine it's weird for you well you're I like mean a different person <laughs> Person. Yeah, Stronger normally, person. normally it's terrible when things do. Oh my gosh, it's it's horrible. I mean, part of the reason isn't just the heaviness; it's also the awkwardness of it. There's nowhere to hold, and that always makes it hard. 
but I don't know. It just, I, the first time I lifted it, Matt's like, okay, let's just see, because we both were already like not looking forward to it. We both figured, I was like very concerned I was going to drop it because every time we've moved those things, I've been like, I don't want to do it because when I drop it, I'm going to feel horrible because I know how much work you put into doing it. I know a guy can make us another one. <laughs> That's not the answer you want though. <laughs> <laughs> and so, but this time he was like, all right, let's test it. Not bad. I yeah. felt something. I was like, we can do this. We can take it all the way. And we did. And we did it. And we did it. Now I have to get them out. Yeah. So right. yeah, they're in the truck. So what are we drinking? We, I think we always have this. We, well, it's like your go-to red. Because I don't know what the other ones are, and I didn't want to... I Googled one for price, and I was like, we're not drinking that one. It's very expensive. And we can drink that one when we sell the house. <laughs> so well, when it goes on the market. Hopefully in like two weeks, we'll be drinking the one that I was like... Uh, you think it's going to close in two weeks? No, I guess you're right. We should probably wait till it closes. Good call. Smart man. I don't know. It's a fast close. It could be. It could be. All right. Oops, you didn't have your phone. Bad boy. Well, Uber wants to tell me that I need to enjoy twenty dollars off my first order of Uber, Uber Eats. <laughs> They're okay. hinting. I feel like you don't want to cook dinner tonight. Mm -hmm. Here's a promo code. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's in this quart jar of water? It's water. That's how I drink my water at home. I will go through like two to three of these a day. And since I took the day off, I had not. And about a half hour ago, I'm like, I kind of have like a little bit of headache, which is very, I don't get headaches. And I think it's because I haven't been drinking my water today. So a slack. I chugged one of those before I came down and then I just refilled it. It was like, you'd be like, I got to go pee. <laughs> In the middle of this thing. It's yeah. pee time. Mm -hmm. It might be. So what's going on? We did that. Yes. So the house is almost done. We're going there tomorrow to like do last, hopefully, hopefully last minute things. I took all the slabs out of the yard. When was that? Was that this week? Was it was that all Monday? this week. Yep, this week. Monday, yeah. Mm -hmm. So Monday I moved all the slabs off the lawn mm -hmm. and staged them in the... And over the next couple of days, as I was there, I took uh, loads back with me. Yep. I think we did three trips for yeah. the entire slab yard <laughs> back, mm -hmm. which in retrospect seems kind of crazy that all that fit on my trailer. I know. Because I was kind of worried. It was going to be like eight trips or something. <laughs> oh, I thought you were like worried you put it on and then all of a sudden they're like start going, but. No, I take load securing very seriously. I'll say you put like a ton of I'm not about there. to kill somebody. Yeah, that's smart. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's not something I want to live with. No, especially when you can just take a couple extra minutes and change it up. I got more, I got lots of straps. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. So, okay, what else? So yeah, so it'll go in the market hopefully next week. We'll see. We'll see. Better be. <laughs> Better be. I'm done. We have one more big thing we have to move that's in the house, and that Matt has like three slabs that are really big. Oh, I forgot about those. Tied together. They're not tied together. They're just tied to the wall so they don't fall Oh, over. I thought you combined them together, which I was like, okay, that is smart. It's smart if you have like someone to move them with. That's why I thought you did it. Like, no. I thought you pre did it because you're like, my dad was going to come, and then they didn't move them. And so I was like, oh, okay, he's just all set for his dad. No, they're just, so they don't fall over. Oh. Yeah, okay, well. Because they're 12 footers and they're 24 inches wide. <laughs> so I guess I'm moving those tomorrow, too. I put them in there by myself when they were wet, when they were green. So, so they're, light. they're lighter now. It was also, I was also younger and like I could do that stuff. Like, you now we have two people. Yeah, but now like I'm so used to like <laughs> machines doing everything. Okay, so I'm getting stronger, you're getting weaker. Is that what you're trying to say? I'm like being mentally weaker, I think. Oh. That's the problem. I'm like, I don't have like any desire to move things anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Where it's like, like five or 10 years ago, if you want to move a whole stack of wood one board at a time, no problem. In fact, I feel like you almost be like, this is like a fun workout. Yeah, now I'm like, no, I'm going to move the whole stack at once. But also I feel like the amount of stuff you have on your to-do list is longer. And oh, so you're that's like, true too. I, have I don't want to spend I had that. way more free time yeah. back then kids. too. Yeah, I could spend <laughs> six hours moving a stack of wood where now I'm like, I can do it in five minutes. Right. With machine. Yeah. That's true. So there's that, I guess. Mm -hmm. So yeah, there you go. See? I'm saving so much time with my newest acquisition. Yeah. Unloading the trailer. Mm -hmm. That thing actually unloads it faster than my forklift loads it. <laughs> like this. Aaron, Matt's wasting away now that he just pushes buttons. <laughs> your, your buttons. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so over here pushing your buttons. 
So what else? Oh, so what do we do today? This morning. It was this morning. You and me, our thing. What day is it today? <laughs> okay. Oh, we did the podcast. Today. How did you forget that? I don't know what day. I'm telling you. I'm told. I am so out of everything that's going on. Like I'm not even here, mentally. You do seem a little fuzzy right now. I mean, yeah, it's it's bad. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's just because you haven't been around that you feel all squiggly. Yeah. Well, I haven't been like working. So you need to work to keep that mind nice and tight. Well, normally, like, during the week, I practice talking. Okay, and to his credit, <laughs> he did amazing at the podcast. I feel like it was the first podcast I'd ever done. You can tell what it was? It's called It Goes Both Ways. It's a podcast by Christy and Steve Letarte. And it, um, they're local, Minneapolis. Or no, they're in Rogers, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So Steve used to work at one of the radio stations here in the Twin Cities. And now he has this podcast with his wife and they had us go on it. We're like their first like couple of guests, I think. <laughs> and so I had never done a podcast before. And Matt luckily has two mics because he'd gotten a new one for his setup for Wood Talk. Yeah, we all got the same mics now. Oh, is that why you Wood did Talk. it? Yeah, so we, all, we should all sound a little bit more, what are the same-ish? Oh, I just presumed you were like, I need a nicer one because of whatever reason. No, we reinvest. I'm, mm -hmm. this thing, we put a lot of money back into these things. Okay. Well, I just, he has now two mics is the point of that. Yes. Okay. Anyway, so we, yes. So we both I have a sec, I have a new mic, so I'm not using my old mic. So he set up the old mic back for me again, and I practiced doing a like, practice. Was, there was no practice round. We were doing this podcast now, and it's all recording. And I did not realize this, but when you do a podcast, and maybe mine was set up wrong, you can hear yourself after you just said it. And I like it's called the monitor. Kept getting like screwed up. It was hard because I'd be like, oh shoot, what did I what am I saying? Oh my gosh, that sounds silly or dumb or it's too late, it's already out of my mouth because and then I would kind of lose my train of thought. So if anyone listens to it and I sound <laughs> I get, kind of like a dumb dumb. You, you, get, you, get, you get a little smoother as I think after like ten minutes you get okay with it. Yeah, like in the beginning, it was hard and it sounded weird and then suddenly I don't know. Oh, you can hear yourself in your headphones. Yeah. So you know how you sound. Right. I just, I don't want to know how I sound. <laughs> I just don't <laughs> want to know. <laughs> well, either you get used to it or I'll turn that off next time. You could have turned it off? You didn't think it was bothering you. I thought I'd like... Oh, I hated it. It was horrible. It was... You didn't say anything. Because I didn't... I thought it was just how it is. And that's why at the one point you were like telling me to move... Because I kept getting away because I was like, maybe it's repeating because I'm too close to the mic. So I kept like going away and then Matt's like, what are you doing? Get in front of the mic. And I'm just like, <laughs> she said the mic's over here. <laughs> so yeah, it'll be, yeah. I'm like very, 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 very worried about that. Also, like just like a big dumb dumb, which Matt's like, why do you care? No one cares about you. And I was like, that's true. But I thought I said no one cares about you. That's the spirit of what he said. <laughs> And I was like, I no care one's, about me. No one is judging like that. Well, he's like, no one cares. It's just you. And I was like, you're that, right. That's how you sound. Yeah, that's that's probably, that, no one cares is how you sound. <laughs> that's true what you also sound. Well, you can do this every week. It's very different. One, I can't hear my, what I just said. That's all I was. It was just because you can hear what you said. Yes, it was horrible. <laughs> okay, we've been on this for too long. <laughs> In any case. Um, Lindsay did her first podcast. That's what we're trying to say. So I'm proud of you. And it was hard. And... I'm probably gonna be embarrassed. I don't think I'm gonna listen to it because I think I might cry if I do. So now you know what it's like when I got started. I already on the knew, podcast. But you did, you, Matt is, it's kind of interesting. Matt is, I'm always floored about how well spoken he is on stuff. And it's not that he's not a well spoken person in everyday life. It's just that Matt is not someone who you would say when you go to a party, you go anywhere. He's not gonna be the person that's going to be like running the show in the center of the attention, but like, or, I don't know. He's not going to be like, oh, I have this great story. But like, he's very good at knowing when to step in during like a podcast or like live stuff or anything. That's just practice. Right. I just feel like he's got it down where he's like. I should go back and listen to the first times I was on Wood Talk. Yeah. I'm like, am I allowed to talk? Right. Can I say anything to these people? But I just feel like he has it. It's so smooth now. And I'm always just kind of blown away being like, wow, you're, you're really good at this. <laughs> so, well, and it's hard. I hope I got okay at it <laughs> over these years. <laughs> well, okay. Don't take the compliment. Please. I'll take it, but 
I have been doing it for like, but Wood Talks, I've been on Wood Talk since 2016, so it's been five years. Wow, that's crazy. I think. Mm -hmm. Four or five years, yeah. Yeah. Well, there you go. So, like, what did we talk about on this podcast? Mostly like us, like well, us, like a relationship. It was kind of more of a relationship focused, marriage focused. Yeah, although Matt like made it kind of seem like we don't like each other at certain points because I just don't know why. I'm not used to talking about that kind of stuff. Yeah, he like was kind of awkward about certain things, but and I was like, I think they think we they're like, are you more roommates or like in a relationship? And I feel like you were just like, well, we're roommates too, like in a joking way. And I was like, that's not I don't know. Come off well. We are <laughs> though. I know. That's not what they meant, though. Yeah, in retrospect, I get it now. Yeah, yeah, I know. I knew where you were going, and I was like, he's... But that's, I'm not, that's a foreign, like, concept or label to me. I know. I don't really think about that kind of stuff. Yeah, I know. Like, I exist. I happen to be married. I happen to be married. <laughs> <laughs> we get along, usually. Right. I think we're kind of friends. You're okay. Yeah, right. I mean, yeah, yeah. You, know. you kind of backstab him, but you know, whatever. Me? <laughs> <laughs> also, I you're think. kind of conniving, yeah. Only when, it, only when it makes sense, right? You're all, you're all those friends who, like, just takes and doesn't give, you know? Really? See, this is the kind of stuff. I, actually, you didn't say that, but if you did, it would have come off terrible. <laughs> people would have thought he was being serious. Versus, like, live, you can see him, you know, he just thinks it's funny. <laughs> yeah, you think it's funny, too. I do think it's funny, because I know you. I'm the funniest person you know. I am the funniest person I know. All right, a real question from Earl. Which wine club do you guys belong to? The Gary V. Mm -hmm. Wine Club. We, also the Empathy Wine yeah, Club. Yeah, so do we still have Empathy? I don't, we didn't get any. That was time soon, I think. Because now we're into Rosé. It's Rosé season now, I think. Mm -hmm. Summer, yeah. Yeah. I got those two. And then I also do Wine Text. Which is all Gary, it's all Gary V. Yes, all, yes. It's so, yeah, Gary all v. those are his things. Yeah. That's through Wine Library. Mm -hmm. Um... They also do that via email too. So there's two things that they text and email. Yeah. Two separate offers. Yes. Which sincerely we are, he hasn't bought wine in a long time, which is probably good because we don't need to be spending money on wine if we're going to renovate soon. But Matt, it, it, usually. Maybe I haven't seen anything that sounds super cool. I guess not. Yeah, that could be it. You know, mm -hmm. I brought you a case of Prosecco like a month ago. Yeah, I know. We still have like half of it. See? Yeah. I love you. I know you do. I'm not doubting that. <laughs> Buy this things for you. <laughs> You're funny. All right. Oh, I like this. I love that you always have some wine. My wife and I do the same on our lives. I like that. Blessed husband. Also, that's a good name. That's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so Ralph was watching your slabbing video you posted today. Ah, uh, yes. So what about, what, what's going on with that? Uh, I've had it done for three weeks. Why didn't you put it up? I haven't finished putting it up. Oh. I literally haven't been at my desk. So. He wants to say hi when she brings her up because she's so beautiful. She doesn't want to get up. She wants to go like have snacks. Pick her up, my love. I can't. My feet are stuck. Oh, yeah. He's wearing his new boots that he got. And um, every year his mom will give him like some money to buy something special for himself. And then he never does. And so finally this year he spent all the money. For my few several years worth. Several years worth and bought himself custom shoes. And they fit like really well, but I think he still needs to break them in. They're not broken in at all. That's what I'm saying. You have to break them in. They are like. Huh. Okay, you can't see them. Can't pick my I don't up. even know if he can lift. They oh look my God, really that's nice. heavy. <laughs> they look good. They go up. Yeah, it's a boot. It's a boot. So he had to, he had, I had to buy him socks today, like higher <laughs> socks, because he's like, they're going to cut in otherwise. Yeah. But yeah they're made custom to my feet, which is pretty cool. I've never had custom footwear before. And it's a big difference. Yeah. It's like my other boots that I have, like, they're bigger. Like, a lot bigger. So these are actually lighter because there's less material there because it's not like, this person could have any with foot. Right. I got smaller feet. You do. So. Oh. Bad. Aaron, thanks for the super chat. Pink. There you go. Thank you. Just fishing for hi. super chats. She always, she, she just, she's so beautiful. Okay, a real question. From John, how do you do your sawmill? Oh, what do you do with your sawdust after changing the bag on your extractor compost dump? I'm in the UK and struggling to find a way to get rid of my weekend warrior amounts. <laughs> I just dump it in well, at the old house. I dumped it in the back. Dumped it in the swamp. By the swamp, on the swamp shore. 
yeah. Swamp Shores. He slowly was creating more of like a sandy beach, but instead it was a sawdust like beach. Land reclamation or whatever that's called. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I just dumped it in the back for like a technically compost, but we never used it. Yeah. It's like it's, it's decomposing, but not for a purpose. Like mm -hmm. we're going to use it for gardening. Right. Which. At one point we did in the beginning, like before you had kids, we were, were going to do that. If I used the planer a lot, so you have more like shavings versus dust, I would use it for like mulch. But you only need so much mulch. Mm -hmm. so, and then especially with the sawmill stuff, that's a lot finer. So I just mm -hmm. dump it. And then it actually decomposes faster because it's finer. Right. And now I just dump it over there down the hill. Yeah. And the witness blows it back. So I have to find a new spot for that. Yeah, we do. <laughs> All right, question now from Rob. Now that the wood is in the new house, when will the farmhouse table be in its new home? Minus... Still drying in the stack. I'm <laughs> Here, I'm take it down my left. The table will probably move. I don't know whenever we want to move that. It'll be after we start showing it, just because it's so heavy. Well, I, th I would prefer to move it before I move my skids through back here. So we might move it sooner than later. So maybe this week. Really, you think so? Well, if I'm gonna bring my skid, I want to bring it back there again. Yeah, I guess that's true. So. So they just pluck it out of there on Tuesday or something. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to put it on the trailer, chain it down, and bring it here. You are? Oh, okay. Yeah. So what else am I going to do with it? Mm -hmm. I don't know if we need the box truck again or not. I guess we don't have to. That's good. I'd like to not have to keep no. bothering. I mean, it's gonna look, it, will, it will look absolutely ridiculous going down the freeway. Yeah. But it's, it'll work just fine. Okay. Be a table strapped to a trailer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and some benches. That works. Yeah, it works. <laughs> Yeah, we'll see that. Okay. Maybe we do it tomorrow. I don't know. No, I got some more stuff that I gotta move. All right. How old more is stuff. the house oops, that we just bought? 65, is that right? I don't know. I think it's 65, something like that. I it's just not much, it's not much newer than our old house. That's why like, we are renovating, because I think some people are like, why you just bought a brand new house? Why are you renovating? You're going to buy a brand new house. Well, brand new to us. Okay, fine. And it, it certainly needs <laughs> renovation. It's a two bedroom house and we have three kids. That's yeah. the major, that's the major problem. That's yeah. That's the major, you know, thing that's pushed the catalyst that's saying we need to do something. Yeah. So it's really in reality, it's not, I mean, it's bigger square footage wise from our old house, but it has like the same exact rooms. Yeah. It's kind of strange. Like exactly the same rooms. It has like the old house was a two bedroom. This is a two bedroom. It had a great room. Mm -hmm. This has a great room. Mm -hmm. It had a living room. This has a living room. It had a dining room. <laughs> this has a dining room. It has a kitchen. This has a kitchen. They both had kitchens. Yeah, Whoa. they're they're both about the same size too. Yeah. So actually, yeah. There's that. Yeah. This is a really, really good question for oh. Ray. And I never thought about this. You have your sticker all over the Power Tools brand name, but why don't you have one over the Apple logo on your laptop? I don't know. Just didn't think about it, huh? Because you put them here instead. And you didn't do that. There's a, I, I, I kind of give up because there's just too many brands to cover. Okay. I just kind of did it for fun. I hope it's Apple decided to. You're like, surprise! Sur surprise, I got an <laughs> Apple deal. Everyone. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is an ad, so hashtag ad. <laughs> yeah, for Matt, not Sponsored. for Apple. <laughs> Sponsored by Matt. I keep running one side it's on. So. I did oh. it like four years ago or something. Yeah. I think right after, mm -hmm. I think right after Trident it came on. So I'm like, you know what? It's probably time just to cover them up, whatever. Right. I don't know. All right, how old are you? I'm still 33, I think. You think you're still 33? I think Is that right, from last time? Yeah, from last time. <laughs> last time I circled the earth? Yes, 33. Yeah. You'll be 34 this year in August. Oh my gosh, mm -hmm. why? Why? That's good. I remember when I was in my twenties. Yeah. And I was like young and right. Yeah. You know, I think we're probably gonna end up closing on this house, like on the anniversary that I closed we, on it originally. That would be the ten year anniversary. Cool. Yeah, I'd like that. That's gonna be weird. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we, I think we put the offer on the old house like in April. Yeah. So, it's very possible that we'll close on May twenty fifth. That'd be cool. Same exact date, exactly 10 years later. That would be really like, neat, on honestly. the dot. That would, yeah, be very 
Or earlier. Earlier would be fine too, but... Yeah, I'll take earlier, but... <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ellie says hi. Oh, hello. Oh. My daughter upstairs. <laughs> That's not Ellie. That's, Ellie. <laughs> That's not Ellie. <laughs> that looks like Caitlin, though. All right, why don't you talk a little bit about the renovation, what happened with the architect last yesterday? Yeah, so they came out... Was it a month ago? Two months yes. ago? When did they come um, measure? March... Oh, they came out in December to measure. Okay, so they came out and they measured the whole house in December and they started their initial modeling of the of the, of the existing home. Uh, a month ago we had the, what they call it? Like, they call it the programming where you sit down and say, here are the things that are really important to me. Here's how I use my house. They ask you questions like that. I would say from my previous life, I would call that the needs assessment phase. Okay. okay. Of you know taking in all the what needs to happen, what has to be there, how things are used, and what processes mm -hmm. these things need to go through. So anyway, that was like a fun, like, they asked us all kinds of like fun questions that I wouldn't even think to like think about, like mm -hmm. how we use the house and how we plan to use it and, you know, what kind of like parenting we have and, yeah. you know, that Sound kind of stuff. Sound and stuff, like, do you like loudness? Do you want more yeah. quiet? Like do overall want... flow and like thinking of the future, like if this becomes a garage again, now we're entering the house through here versus how we're coming in right now. So it's it was really cool to like have like, oh, you guys actually know what you're talking about a little yeah. bit. Like you have, these are like really good questions to figure out what they're designing for us because in the end, like it needs to fit our needs. Right. It not, doesn't have to just look pretty. Yeah. For like their pictures being like, look at this beautiful house. If it isn't functional for us, I think that was really what they were focused on. Like it we want it to be functional. In a way yeah, there's like there a definite focus on functionality, which is nice. You, you can tell they they're very experienced in this, like, <laughs> very much. I've done a few of these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they they gave us a few different like I don't know ideas or concepts of like directions we can go with the. I guess it's, it's a small. It ended up being like a smaller addition than we kind of anticipated. Um, so yeah. So yeah, well, what Matt's know. saying is yesterday they came and said, all right, here are three and a half, sort of their three different versions of how we can renovate your house. And you know, we can obviously match and match from all. From like, you know, basic to like extreme. Yeah, and they did each floor. So they did, here are three different varieties that your basement could be laid out. Here's three different for your first floor and second floor. And the one big thing is we've always said, okay, we need another bedroom upstairs because we only have two masters. And so the whole time we'd always thought, you were going to build on the back of our house because the way our house is set up right now is like here, see how this is, here's our main house. And then they did uh, an addition that goes this way. So the addition has a oh, I pull up on here. Yeah. So the addition, it's like an L sort of. And so there's a lot of room where we're like, they're just going to push it out. So it's an actual box. That's not at all what they're actually doing. Instead, the way of our current house is they're going to build essentially on top of where the attic would otherwise be. So one, I'll get my porch, and I'm gonna get a wraparound porch. Well, tell me the issue is that the current second story is not the full foundation size. Okay. The current second story always only occupies half the foundation. So they're so just the taking it off. So the second story is only half as big as it could be, I guess. Right, and so that was to me the biggest surprise. So they're like, yeah, for some of them, we aren't almost breaking any ground at all, like foundation. They're all, they're small. Yeah, what would you say the number was? I it's forget. Like 12 by sorry 20 by 12 or something like that it's like the biggest yeah it's a small and they're all the, pretty much the same for that way so it's just kind of cool and then they also let us do like they have sketch ups you could actually see the outside and see how it all kind of plays together and it was really neat to be like oh yeah like here's how we can change this part the big kind of hiccup with our house is the entrance so the works is like you come up on our driveway and then our house is not facing the driveway, it's the side of the house. So finding a place to put the front door where they're gonna walk to the actual front door versus our basement because our house, I'm actually pointing this out today, our house is kind of backwards. The walkout basement is to the front of the house, not the back of the house. So is he gonna be able to do it? I don't know what I'm doing. Well, now it's you. Okay, oh, yep, I screwed up. You screwed up. <laughs> Screw this stuff. How do I do this? Here, go back to default. You're doing these. Am I no? Am I better at this than you? Is that possible? Or okay, is there two of you? Wait, hold on. Did I just like split screen this. <laughs> do that. I think I broke this. Hang on. 
Okay, how do I like? <laughs> you got to be able to like do screen share on this. Thing. Yeah, I'm sure you could screen share, but yeah, let's keep talking. I'll figure it out. In any case, so it's really exciting to be like, okay, here are what our options are, and just realize <laughs> 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 that the biggest expense Matt's saying it's going to be is frozen now with me looking like that. There it is. Ah! So that's our house currently right now. Correct. Oh, like, let's see, there we go. We're like, we're like in the little corner there. This is like Zoom. This is weird. This is how it is for Zoom. Yeah, see, like, there we are. Okay, cool. Yeah, there's the current house. Uh-huh. I think this is working. All right, now go to... Maybe. Hang on. Let me spin around. Let me just show, like, this... We're in this little... We're right, we're right here. We're on that We're one. behind this door right here. Scroll this is fun. Like to see if it works. People tell us if this is working. Well, they have a delay, of course, so... Anyway. So, anyway, this is the front of the house, so you can see that the, the main entry, like, up, the, up here... Up the stairs. Right. But actually, go to there. That's always a screen. That's also a door to our house. This is also a door to our house. That's a door. This is a door. <laughs> There's a lot. Actually, door. over here is a door. There's a lot of doors to our house. This is a door. Um, this is a door. Door. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want to brag, but we got a lot. There's a lot of doors. <laughs> There's three big ones down here. <laughs> uh, um, oh, the current house. Now go to one of the options outside, I suppose, because those are like the fun ones to look at. Um, Just pick one. This is option three. I can't see because the, th the tabs are all... Oh, it's too big. This is the... It doesn't matter. Here's an option. Here's an option. This is the middle option. option, actually. So we're... You would just walk up. They're going to close up where our front door is and move it right now where the sliding patio door is. And then this is now a kitchen. And that's part of the, that's the, this is the only place right now for everything that they're thinking about pushing out is taking a portion of what our current deck is. And then over here, now they're creating a full upstairs. And then because of that, they can give me my porch. Yeah. So go to the farthest one. It's probably the farthest away one. Hang on, move these comments all the way. What's this? It's just, I'll just keep on. This is running out of, how do I go for, oh, here we go. There we go. There's a lot of scenes. I think it's like. There's this. C. That's a lot wrong. Cause this, you, you need to go to C. I'm okay. All right, lady. <laughs> I didn't realize it. So this is the one that is the like. Most biggest, extreme. The most extreme. And where it would be is that you would walk in to this. So we wouldn't have a front door anymore. It'd almost be akin to split level where it's like you walk into here and then this is a mud room and then you go up the stairs and now this is a sun room that you're kind of walking into. And then there's the kitchen here. And then, <laughs> I can't turn it. Can you show how, what I really like, which we can do for all of them to be honest, is now a wraparound porch, which happened in. That's, that's happening. That, that's no the one what. thing I'm really excited about. But you can see the, the biggest thing here is that we have a full second story. Mm -hmm. Let me go back to the original one here. So you can see like the first, currently, the second story does not extend. Here out. we go. So basically the second story is just this back half of the house. Yeah, because that's actually our attic. Oh, it's kind of cool. All right, let me see how. Okay, let's see the comments that they care about. Well, it's nice to engage. You need That's a the whole room. point. Yes, we do need a mod <laughs> Yeah. Yes, we, oh my gosh, do. So, yeah, that's kind of, and then, then you know, they have stuff to show us the inside. But this is our current backyard. Mm -hmm. But what they'll do with this right here for all of the schemes, because this is like a weird second mudroom entry, but it, the way it's located, you'd have to go through our grass. I don't know what they were thinking, to be honest, when they added this, because this is an addition. Um which is kind of interesting, but they'll turn this into a closet and seal it off essentially. Yeah. But you don't need it. Yeah. All right. How do I get out of this? So they don't have to finish. That's just, how you no. end the stream. No, That's the end do stream. not push that button. Okay. Wrong. Oops. <laughs> I go back to this new scene. No, default. Hang on the camera. I changed the camera. That's what I did. Oh, nice. Um, yeah. Source camera blank camera. Oh man! All right, I'm like a, technology just I'm like off a pro the now. Look at me <laughs> figuring stuff out. So, what's the current square footage versus after? I don't know. Well, our current is what thirty-five, about roughly. I think so, yeah. And it's only going to add what, like two hundred? No, it's going to add all those bedrooms. Oh yeah, you're right. Okay, I but just keep thinking of like. It's probably going to add thousand. Okay. Maybe. Mm -hmm. 
if that. Because those beds were like, the original foundation is not that big, so. Yeah, I mean, it's not gonna even add more than the shop, probably. I bet those two bedrooms only add 500 feet. Yeah, they don't have like the sketch up for the inside of the house, but essentially there are different options to add either we'll have an upstairs with four bedrooms or three bedrooms. And if we have three, then everyone gets their own bathroom. Like mm -hmm. there's different kind of stuff. And then for still the same square footage. Yeah, it's all still the same square footage they're working with. And there are options where we, they don't touch our bedroom or our bathroom currently. And then they only play with everyone else's. So playing around. All right. Richard says, go big or go home. Yeah. Do that one. My wife and I agree, which is rare. Do that one. Do which one? I don't know which one. Rob, which one? <laughs> um, so we need a mudroom, which is true. <laughs> we need a mudroom. We need a mudroom so badly. I mean, we have the mud field, so there's that. Right. <laughs> you may need more than one room for that. Actually, several of them involve kind of, if we do the one where our screen doors right now that our sliding doors that walk out to our porch right now or patio right now that one has essentially a foyer foyer i can't i'm, I'm not french foyer foyer <laughs> <laughs> that one includes kind of like dual mudroom because it's like an entrance way versus the one where it's kind of akin to split level would just have the one in the basement otherwise if we didn't do like the basement way to walk into our house they all have a mudroom in the basement and then the foyer and the yeah. upstairs so mm -hmm. and the mudroom in the back yeah okay so art agrees with me Bedrooms are good. Bathrooms are just more to us. I kind of am leaning more to being like, I'd rather have four bedrooms, but then not everyone gets their own bath. And an outhouse. And an outhouse. <laughs> <laughs> everyone goes outside. All the bedrooms are gone. <laughs> Number two outside. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, it's more scenic. It's more scenic. Your scenic bathroom trip. Yes, yes. <laughs> um, unfortunately, our sound stutters when you move it. <laughs> but uh, sorry, guys. No, well, we're not moving it anymore now. We're done with the moving the model. Yes, yes. You'll see that when the videos start coming out. Yes. Um, Whenever I catch up with my other ones. Which videos? The remodel videos. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's true. He is going to do that. I'm still like six months back on other videos. No, yeah, you're getting there though. Mm -hmm. Oh, you mentioned being from Wisconsin before. Whereabouts in Wisconsin from Daniel? Me or you? You first. both from Wisconsin. You first. I'm from Kenosha. I'm from Nielsville, which is in the center of the state, middle of nowhere. Which, yeah. I was going to say, like, no one used to know where Kenosha was. Kenosha or is by Chicago. Was so before last year. Let me see, flip it. Yeah, before last year, unfortunately. Like, here is Kenosha. Right here. <laughs> here is Wisconsin. I mean, Nielsville in the center. And where's that ring at? This ring is probably Eau Claire. I think so. I don't know. <laughs> 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 oh, funny. Oh, funny. Mm -hmm. You're just so funny. I am. I like this. That's what the barn is for. Bathroom. That's right. That's where the horses went way back when. They're not better than horses. Great. I like this. Vanessa votes for the one that has the most space for wine. None of them do. None of them do? According to Matt? Okay. There's no wine cellar in any of them. No, we didn't, but... I'm going to do that different, I yes. think. Yes. We're going to put that in a hill. Yes. In I'm a hill. Dig a bunker. <laughs> that would be pretty fun, actually. <laughs> we got a lot of hills, so I'm thinking... We'll probably, I think I'll probably end up doing that. Yeah, I think that would be really, really cool. I don't know where, though. You kind of want it to be close to the house, but all the good hills are not near the house. Yeah. So, I don't know. We'll see. I can always make a hill. Oh, this is a great question from Ben. Have you ever considered selling crotch veneers? I'd like to have some thick slices to make spice box, tea boxes, kind of like what you made. You have some. I, I have considered a lot of things. We have a ton <laughs> of, actually, I think, crotch veneers because I moved them personally. They were in the laundry room. In the Those house. aren't crotch veneers. They look like crotch they're veneers. Like, they're burl veneers. Oh, burl. They're from when Scott came that did that uh radial veneer demo okay um but i mean you can buy them mm -hmm. that was from certainlywood.com i think oh. crazy nielsville this guy who asked the question dan he's from marshfield oh well, I, there you go 
You actually used, know where Newsville is. Yeah, you do, because I used to go to Marshfield all the time growing up. That was like the big city, which I'm sure Dan is laughing at right now because it's like 30,000 people. That's where you took me. I took that. Like, yeah, when he was, I was like, so we're going to go to Marshfield. What are we going to do? They have a Chinese going? food restaurant. <laughs> that was like the biggest thing. We went for Chinese food, and there's a the movie theater or something. They have a movie theater. I know. It's, it's huge. And a quick trip. We have a quick trip in Nailsville, too. Yeah, but it's by, by the railroad, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I think. <laughs> it is now. It wasn't when I grew up, but yes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and they got the Christmas lights. They do. We do the Christmas lights every year. And the Marshall. salty fish place. That's not... No, that's Willard. Isn't that right there? No, actually, it was Chili. Chili is where they have the salty fish. It's not in Marshfield. What was I thinking? Isn't it like right by the Christmas light place? It's on the way home, but Chili's also on the way home. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> that was like before we had kids, so probably eight years ago. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. know. Oh, okay. I like this. This is David, a question about your sawmill. Okay. I don't know if this is an ask. It has not. When will you get power and location <laughs> for the sawmill? <laughs> I answered my half the question. Now you answer your half. <laughs> so, it was location and location. So, I think originally I was thinking I would just set it up up here. Mm -hmm. But based on the ground conditions, I don't think it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. That's not going to work out, like, at all. Um, so, I might... I had two options at this point. I might just like store it somewhere and drive it and drop it on the driveway when I want to use it or not use it for a while, I think. Yeah. Because it's like, unless we put some kind of like gravel or concrete pad by the barn, I can't drive around. Right. So it was like, it's impossible to get to it, which is crazy That's without true. destroying. I don't Everything want to turn anymore. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm guessing because I'm not really going to need it this year, except for the few workbench kits that I have to saw still. I'm probably just going to set it up here on the driveway, cut those, and then just put it away again. Mm -hmm. Have it more be like semi portable. Like you take it up, set it up, use it, and put it away. Mm -hmm. Put it in the back somewhere. If I can get back there, I'm waiting for the, the, the rain to kind of dry up. Otherwise, mm <laughs> hmm. Once I leave this little path here, it's like partial gravel. Yeah. We're getting, we're building like trenches. They definitely had a path at one point, like a little driveway there because there was gravel. Well, they said they always dumped gravel there. Yeah. So like the grass is just kind of grown over it. Mm -hmm. So it looks kind of like lawn, but it's actually like. It's supposed to be, yeah. It's actually gravel. So like I can drive a towel handler on there because it's gravel. But as soon as I leave that. And then I crack. It's giant ruts. <laughs> just sink right in. So, yeah, I don't know. From Mystery Gardener, I'm from the Wales in the UK. Have you ever made a garden bench and do you have plans? I have. Mm -hmm. It's at the warehouse. I have to bring I, it back still. I know. I want to put it on our, <laughs> our patio. There, uh, yeah, when it, it was like a year ago, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So it was, it was a thermally modified ash. It's Morris and Tenon. There is the summary video here on the YouTube channel. That was, mm -hmm. I probably published that in May last year or April of last year. Yeah. And then the plans and the class is over in the guild. I think there's probably a link to that in the description of this thing because I'd never removed it. <laughs> and that I really like that bench, sincerely. It's gone right now and I am sad because it's actually like a really comfortable one and I think it's really pretty because it's got like a little bit of a figure to it. It's not just like a... Yeah, it's got the curved top rail. Mm -hmm. So it's really pretty. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. From yeah, a, yeah, yeah. From a and W. I got to bring that back. <laughs> Will you ever make a guitar? Another one? Maybe he doesn't know you already made one. The answer is yes. When I went and made that one, I had such a good time doing it. I was like, it didn't take that long either. Mm -hmm. It was like uh, just a few days to make it. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I'm going to make all those guitars when I get yeah. back. I haven't made any more. <laughs> so I would like to. But the problem is now that it's been so long, I, forgot, I have totally forgotten all the minutia. Yeah, that's true. Of all the little details. Not saying like I can't figure it out or I can't like, just like bother Ben. Yeah. Be like, hey, Ben. Remember all the stuff you taught me? I forgot all of it. <laughs> I'll be like, sure, I'll send you an invoice. Can you, <laughs> can you remind me of all the things I need to take into account as I'm like getting my frets all set or whatever? Mm -hmm. But uh, otherwise, I did, when I was there too, I was like, oh, I really want to do like the acoustic class, but that's much more involved. I think that would be amazing to have make an acoustic guitar though. I think that would be really cool. That's normally a, is this a three month? He's, yeah, that was he's a, a lot month? longer. I think I said it was a three month class, but... I could probably do it in six weeks, he said. 
Why? Because um, I, I, I can actually woodwork. Oh, it's three months for something like me if I did it. Yeah. I could do it in three months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, like this, the, 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 the uh, electric guitar class is normally seven, and we finish in four and a half days. And we were like dinking around. Well, yeah, and he got a lot Having of heat jokes. on how he made his guitar. Huh? Some people did not like the structure of your guitar. That was all Ben. Ben said it can be whatever shape you want it to be. And Matt, he took that very literally. He said, you know Matt, all, he's a very literal as man. long as the neck is straight and the frets are good, it's just a body, it's just a thing that holds strings. It can be any shape, any form you want. So he made, what he called it, what, the shark tar? The shark tar, yeah. <laughs> Heck yeah, man. <laughs> and I... Was, I don't love the shape, I'm going to be honest. I was just like, but he, it's his, he can make it however he wants. I was not alone in those feelings, though. It was a mixed bag. Either you liked it or you didn't. Yeah. But There's no middle ground where it's like, it's okay. It's like, you love it, you hate it. <laughs> and the, you hate it strong. The, the purists hate it a lot. A lot. But you know what? Yeah. I had so much fun doing that because this... <laughs> it, was a, it was a different way of working. Guitar making, not that hard. Matt Cremona <laughs> <laughs> I just realized it's uh, five o'clock. I have to head up, but you can stay here and answer some questions. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that's a great way to end. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> All right, let's just answer a couple of these real quick. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have to get that, like, put on something and hung up for real. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I don't know if I'm a supreme master woodworker. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I started because Lindsay wanted a, a thing from Ikea to hold baskets. And that I made like a plywood box shelf thing. It just had two compartments. It was, like a, it was a plywood box with a divider. That's all it was. That's how I got started and kind of went from there. It definitely took over my life pretty quickly. I think it probably took me like, I would say like five years before I was like, making things that I'm not embarrassed of now looking back. <laughs> so I think that's like the, the fun point where you're like, you can look back and be like, that's not too bad. And then you go back further than that, you're like that was really bad. Uh, so I think that point for me was like five years. I just kept making more things and uh, getting better and just practicing, I guess. Uh, I mean, you probably get there faster by apprenticeship if you can find one. But um, they're probably going to take you down this path of like whatever that the, the master is teaching you versus you trying to, you learning how to think for yourself and coming with ways that work best for you. So there's kind of like that trade off. But uh, it's totally possible to learn all these things by making your own projects. The biggest thing with making your own projects is, you know, not necessarily worrying too much if you mess up or screw up or things like that because those are the teaching moments where you'll learn what mistakes not to make or things to look out for as you're working on something else in the future so you don't end up making those mistakes later on. I got I have a lot of things to do, <laughs> Tom. Um, I should probably just like, I, I brought them over. I think they're, they're over there somewhere. I should probably put them up somewhere at least so they are, um, you know, not laying around. All right, one more. There you go. I'm all for the wine cellar. Uh, okay, last one from Benjamin. Any plan to timber frame the house renovations and cutting your own timber? No. No, no. Um, the, the shop that I want to build will be timber framed, cut from my own timber, but as far as the house goes, uh, it just doesn't make sense time-wise to, uh, to cut all that stuff. So I'll be paying the inflated lumber prices, which, eh, eh, that's fine. All right, everybody. Hope you had a fantastic week, and hope you have a good weekend. I will, uh, I will see you next week, probably, with this. And I'm so excited to be tomorrow. Should be my last day at the old house, and I can actually, like, you know, work again. <laughs> I have a lot of videos to, uh, to release and edit, so... Hope you have a fantastic weekend, everybody. I'll see you later.